The Independent National Electoral Commission, ANEC, has stated that Bielsa and Kogi state elections are difficult states when it comes to conducting the polls. And Governor of Cross River State, Ben Ayade, has been condemned by the All Progressive Congress in Calabar for returning to school. This is Plus Politics, and I am Felicity Ezewike. Thank you for joining us. It's exactly a month to the state's elections, I mean, Bielsa and Kogi, and the Independent National Electoral Commission, ANEC, has stated that the two states are not easy states when it comes to conducting governorship elections. He explained that the challenge is in the geographical terrain and the attitude of the political class. Joining me to discuss this is a political analyst, Babashala Adigbuyi. Pleasure to have you join us. Good evening. Elections are here. The big boss says it's difficult to conduct elections in these few states, but there are bigger issues. The entire nation is watching because this is the first off-cycle election that we'll be having. What are your thoughts? Well, when I read that, um, the thought of the, the high next chairman, I asked myself, what is so difficult in two states conducting the election? Are you telling me that uh, the election to be conducted in the two states are uh, uh, more difficult than the, the nationwide conducted in March. So if you are telling me, if you are coming out to say there are two difficult states for Hynek uh, to conduct election, it means that for me, a month, a month to the election, you are yet to get your bearing. That means all the necessary things that INEC should have done are yet to be done. This is not the first time you are conducting elections in the two states. But, but you would agree with me that the terrain, particularly in Bielsa State, where you have areas that, uh, you know, that are rivers, you have to go by Kenu and all of that. I agree. This is not the first time they are conducting elections in Bielsa State. Elections that have been conducted in Bielsa State right from the 1999. And I believe INEC understands or must have understood the terrain. All INEC needs to do now is to ensure the, the, the necessary logistics are in place to ease movement of materials and the INEC officials. How do you see them performing this time as regards logistics? Remember last time there were, you know, buckets of issues. Well, it would be a shame to INEC if what happened in March or in February repeated the same this time around. I expect INEC to have learned from their mistakes in the last general election. By this time, I expect INEC to have had the, the necessary materials on ground. Maybe the, um, the, the ballot papers are not yet, but must have been printed, and someone must have gone to check that the ballot papers required for the elections are exactly equal to the number of the voters, not that they are uh, lesser than what is expected. They should have ensured that the PVC that were used in general election are also functioning well now. They should have checked every necessary things. It's not that when it is about a day or two days to election, that's when you now discover that some things are missing. If you do that, now it shows that it shows the, un uh, the unseriousness of the high neck as a body. Okay, uh, but, but there is something else that he acknowledged. He says, aside the logistic issues, there is, of course, the issue of the situation with the party's primary that led to campaigns, which will commence soon, will be ending on, I mean, 24 hours to the actual election. I think the, what is stipulated in law is 48 hours. Is this like setting a precedence, and what are the implications? Well, I don't know why it's going contrary to the laid down uh, law in respect of uh, the expiration of campaign. I expect the Kaze campaign to end on Thursday and not Friday. Yes, we all know 
that the Nigeria campaign doesn't end even up to the election, but officially it should end on Thursday. But I want to believe that he must have taken the necessary uh, permission for the extension of campaign by 24 hours. Because if he has not, and he permits the two uh, the, 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 uh, the candidates to go ahead and end their campaign on uh, 24 hours to election, then that means himself is also going against the, 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 the laid down law in respect of that. So it can be taken up by on, on that. And most likely, if we have a very good uh, court of law, the election can be canceled for that you get so i don't expect him to go ahead and and now so give them that permission without taking the necessary permission away from where it should before granting them that 24 hours to uh election all right um well, before i ask you more questions let's go on a quick break and when we come back we'll continue this conversation please don't go away <laughs> 